You guys are so cute. I've been dreaming of this moment when Lola is finally big enough to sit at the table. So they're eating together and it's so cute. Okay, this is one of my favorite breakfasts. I'm pretty sure I've shown a million times before, but tofu scramble on toast with Cholula. It is so good. I also have my vitamins that I'm gonna take. We had friends over last night until like 1 a.m. So I am so exhausted and so tired. It's gonna be a long day, but these are my ritual vitamins. This is the Essential for Women Postnatal Vitamin. So I like to take these before I eat my breakfast because I feel like taking them and then eating the breakfast just helps it like kind of go all the way down. So the best part about these is the minty aftertaste because it doesn't taste bad, but mm, this is so good. Mm, mm, mm. I do want to say thank you to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. A lot of people don't know that the postpartum period is actually more nutritionally demanding than pregnancy, especially if you breastfeed. This postnatal contains important ingredients like vitamin C, zinc. It's also vegan friendly, non-GMO, gluten-free. They also are very transparent with where they source their ingredients from. They also have a multivitamin for men, teens, 50 plus. They have a prenatal, which I have taken when I am pregnant. And it's delivered to your door on a subscription, which is super convenient. So you don't have to like think about ordering anything. They also use 100% recycled materials, which is awesome Their mailers are made from recycled newsprint and plant fibers and they also use a plant-based ink I do have a code for you guys if you want to use code Aspen Parker You can get 20% off of your first month So ritual.com slash Aspen Parker will be linked in the description if you guys want to check them out All right, so I'm up in the girls room organizing clothes for fall I just had to turn the heat on because it was cold up here. I'm not ready and and we are getting ready to go on our Europe trip. Still don't have it planned where we're going exactly, but I have our flights bought. So yeah, that'll be interesting. I actually went through the girls' clothes already a few weeks ago and I felt like they were pretty much set, but I'm getting nervous for our trip because I feel like it's gonna be so cold. And I just wanna make sure that we have enough stuff. So yesterday I shopped for a bunch of stuff, but I didn't actually buy it because I wanted to like see what I needed. I'm laying everything out. I'm also gonna do this with Lola's clothes, which she wears a lot of Cove's old clothes, but I also like to get her some new stuff too. Okay, so Zara is one of my top favorite stores for her. They have such good stuff. And I feel like I keep their outfits really simple. Whenever I look at like the websites of Zara, they have like their models, like the little kid models all decked out in like the cutest fall outfits with like layers and like tights and sweaters over shirts and all this stuff. But I don't even put that much thought into my own outfits. So for the girls, I keep their stuff very, very simple. So I love just like cute comfy pullovers. So I have this one for Cove. So I probably need like three or four pullovers for her and then like two or three pairs of leggings. I also got her this cute Care Bear one. Two other brands that I love are Shop Junie Gray and at noon store and then I love to have just like a couple pairs of neutral pants so these are from Zara I also love sets like this from Zara Zara always has good sets and my girls pretty much almost always wear sets because they're just so easy so I actually had this matching one for Lola but I didn't think it through and I got her like a three to six month size for some reason she pretty much never wore it this is also size two to three so it might be kind of small so I'm wondering if I should save this for Lola because Cove wears like three to four and in sweatshirts I usually get her like four to five so it's a little bit oversized so I have a pile of stuff that I'm saving for Lola and I think I'm gonna throw this in there I also feel like my girls don't have like tons and tons of clothes because we just always rewear the same stuff So I feel like as they get older and Cove has gotten older, I buy a lot less One, she always is wearing her Paw Patrol clothes Those are in hiding today because that's all she's been wearing for weeks So every once in a while, I'll like put them all in hiding for a couple days so that she can wear her normal clothes And then we'll get the other ones back out I try to not buy too many of like something specific like a sweatshirt I feel like one or two sweatshirts that you would like wear outside to like keep yourself warm one or two is plenty but if it's something like your normal like everyday indoor clothes obviously you need a few more of those but like jackets and stuff like that I try to only get one or two because I just feel like if I have more than that then I don't ever actually use them so these are some of her dresses she has a little dress up thing right here and like a leotard this is like most of her clothes like she really does not have that many but it's honestly plenty this is another dress that she's literally never worn if I ever buy her anything fancy this one is super cute and it's not even that fancy or anything but like it's like a little bit fancy but she just does not wear it so i always try to just keep them very comfy and this is my pile for lola 
when she's bigger. But yeah, Cove has a couple. These are all matching sets. She has these overalls that she is obsessed with, but they're too small now, so I'm gonna put them in Lola's pile. And then she has a few swimsuits. She has some PJs. And then she has just like a couple little bottoms in here. So yeah, I think she needs a couple more sweatshirts. I feel like she's good on pants. And then maybe one or two more matching sets, and then I feel like she's good. Yeah. Lola! What are you doing in there? Do you have in there? Hi, Lola. Yeah. I don't know if we ever did like a full room tour of Lola's room, but this is what it looks like. Amazing dresser from Ikea. Blanket basket. This print is from Urban Outfitters. I have this. Cove took the little rainbow, like the rest of the pieces. I don't know where they are. Then we have a chair. We have this cute rug that I'm obsessed with. It doesn't fit in her new room though. It's too small. So we're gonna have to swap it out with something, but I love the colors. I think they're so fun. And then her crib is from Sacred Bundle. And this light, I actually literally just like hooked on the vent because we never hung it up. And I wanted to just see what it looked like and then I never took it down. But yeah, her room's just simple, but I think it's so cute. And both of them, we don't keep clothes in their actual closets. Well, I do, I have like storage in here because I feel like they don't have enough. So these are her main clothes and then her PJs. Like this is pretty much all her clothes. So it's still a good amount, but I don't know. I just see some babies that like, they literally have an entire closet full of things and we could literally get away with like having half this amount. And then up here is just like diapers and um, burp cloths and stuff. All right, this is what I have for Lola so far. I have two pairs of pants, one pair of shorts, these two sweatshirts. This is like that one same thicker one that Cope has that I wouldn't put her in unless we're like going outside. These are short sleeve short sets, long sleeve short set, long sleeve, long sleeve. And then these are all her PJs. I just added in these new pairs, which has one pop Patrol outfit right here that matches Cope. I'm also sad because I just cleared out her bows from right here. I never put bows on her, like even at the beginning because her hair was just so long that I feel like it looked a little bit funny. So this is my pile to save for if we ever have another baby. And this is my my pile to give away. Making progress and then down here, this is lots of summer stuff so I don't think it will stay for too long, but this is what I have so far. Okay, we just got home from swimming lessons. I cleaned up my room. I need a bigger tripod. I have to like hunch over because this tripod is so low. I actually just got this little thing from Amazon. Did I show it in my last vlog? Maybe. This is an OctoBuddy so I can like stick my phone to anything and I was thinking it would be so nice to have that for my camera because I need a taller tripod and I don't have one. I ordered this protein powder. This morning, it's the best because this is what I make my protein shake with, you know? I've ordered it like seven times and it's so good. And then I also have a box from Arixia. It's in a little bag. Okay, so I ordered this sweat set, but the color looks completely different online. It was like the perfect, it was literally the exact same color as this. And this is like way darker and more purple. So sadly, this is gonna go back. I'll try it on to see if I like the fit and I wanna get a different color. But the sweatshirt and the shorts, I also got these socks. Everyone has these socks. I gave in to the hype, so these are the base ankle socks. I also ordered some New Balance shoes. I am like the opposite of a shoe person. I do not care about shoes literally at all. And I feel like since being a mom and whatever, and I'm busy, I try to like simplify little things like that. So I don't have like too many choices or too much of a mess and have to like organize things. So something I have really pared down is my shoes. I only have, I probably have like six pairs, which that could be less, but. <coughs> But I feel like I pretty much have like one pair of shoes for each category. I have like one pair of workout shoes. I have one pair of sandals. I have like one pair of medium heels, one pair of high heels, one pair of boots. But I ordered some New Balance shoes. I ordered them from this weird website because the ones that I wanted were sold out everywhere. I've been looking for those and I've been looking for the Boston Birkenstock shoes that are really in right now for like a cute fall shoe and couldn't find either of those. But Parker showed me this like weird website. I don't even know what it was called, but I ordered them from there. So we'll see if I got scammed or not. But anyways, I didn't have any like cute socks. So got these. And then I also got a white tank top that looks exactly like the one that I am wearing now, but you can't go wrong with too many white tank tops. I feel like their prices are also pretty good. Well, this is like $25, but I was looking at a different one that was like 70 something and that's a lot, but basics, I will invest in a good basic if it's like the perfect one and I'll wear it all the time, so. But then I also got this freaking romper that I already have, but I accidentally ordered 
the seven inch inseam and it was just too long for me because I'm kind of short. So this is a five inch inseam. So got that. I also got a small instead of an extra small. The small fit fine or the extra small fit fine, but it was just like a little bit too tight. And I don't usually wear like tight clothes, especially like all the way down and around. I'll either have like tight shorts or a tight top or whatever, but this is like both. So I needed it to be a little bit more comfy. So I unfortunately had to order that in another size, even though I literally already have one, but then I got these pants to try and get something a little bit different. I got them in this fun pink color and then I got this top. So I need to try these on together and see if they like fit me cute. This is a very small top. I usually don't wear crop tops that are like a bra, like by themselves. I like it to be a little bit longer, but that's not what they had. So yeah, I'm gonna try on this pink outfit and see what I think. Hope is doing quiet time right now and Lola's napping. Parker's also outside picking weeds and I have a couple random things to do. One of my credit cards expires this month so I have to go through all of like my auto pay things and update that. And we try to do quiet time like almost every day but sometimes we're like not home or whatever but I feel like we do it most days. And she does pretty well. She just plays up in her playroom but Sometimes she's just not feeling it, so. But usually she bugs, goes like comes out and bugs Parker and not me, so I still like get a little bit of a break, but I'm so freaking disappointed by this. The color online was literally so cute. Like I couldn't believe they had such a cute color and it is just not accurate at all. I'm like almost wondering if they literally sent me the wrong color because it's that off, but. Okay, I feel like these pants just like don't come up quite high enough. I was hoping they came up to like here. Thinking these might go back and if I don't have the matching pants, then I might also send back the matching shirt. So I feel like this is a little bit of a fail haul because I'm returning like almost everything. I'm gonna keep the romper and actually I should try it on first because I literally already have one, but this order is unfortunately a flop. Next is this set, which I feel like is comfy. I think I got an extra small in the bottoms and then a small in the top and I should have done a small in both of them. So I'm gonna see what other colors they have and maybe exchange this but this is something i would definitely wear like every day in the fall but yeah the shorts just feel like a little bit too small so this is going back but i do like the fit of it it fits cute shopping complex that opened up kind of by us. I had a Sephora gift card, so I wanted to go in there. I got a ton of stuff. I'm stressed out because I'm probably gonna return some. And the lady asked if I wanted an email receipt or a printed receipt, and I said email, but I have no idea what email it sent to. I think it's like one of my old ones. So I'm gonna have to find that, but I'll show you guys what I got. And I also stopped by Cotton On Kids. I wanted to just, I didn't really have a reason for going in here, but this complex has a bunch of stores and it's new. And our nanny is with the girls right now. So I was like, like, I'm gonna go out and just go do like something, literally anything. So I walked to like a bunch of stores. I've been trying to find the Boss and Birkenstock shoes. I hate myself because a year ago I would have said that those were not cute at all. And now I'm like, I need those shoes. I'm falling for the trends. I can't find them literally anywhere. I've been looking for like two weeks. Anyways, didn't find those anywhere. I did find some Scooby-Doo PJs. Cove hasn't been into Scooby-Doo for probably like over a year, but I loved Scooby-Doo when I was a kid. That was like my favorite cartoon besides SpongeBob. So I found these for her. They're like Halloween theme. Hopefully she likes these. She's very into like her character PJs, as we all know. We're actually on a little Paw Patrol detox right now, except it's over because someone gave her the Paw Patrol clothes, but every once in a while I'll like hide them for a day or two just so that she'll wear a normal outfit so that they don't like go to waste. So the detox is done because she's been wearing the Paw Patrol PJs today and she actually went to swim lessons with Parker and then she came home and he sent me a picture of her and she's wearing or I looked on our camera or something and she's wearing a Paw Patrol shirt again so anyways we'll see if she likes this surprise and then I also got these ones for Lola and I feel like the sizing is like a little bit off because this is six to nine months and it looks huge but maybe I'm just like not picturing how big she is but hers are Scooby-Doo too and yesterday I organized in their closets you know and Lola is like fully stocked up on PJs I was like I didn't not need to buy PJs for her for like a year because the ones that I like to get are from Shop Plain Jane and they actually don't make baby sizes usually anymore. They only, it starts at like 12 to 18 months so a lot of Lola's PJs are 12 to 18 months and it's almost her birthday, she's almost one but she's still pretty tiny so I normally wouldn't put her in 12 to 18 months yet. Anyways those will last her until she's like probably over two because they're like stretchy and really nice so if you need PJs I recommend checking those out. Then I got suckered into buying this little paddle ball thing 
thing because I thought that it would keep Cove busy and they had it like right by the checkout. Sephora, I went there first and I was in there for so long. The lady asked me three times. She was like, are you sure you don't need help looking for anything? And I was like, I'm just browsing. My kids are with a babysitter so I just have all the time in the world until 5 p.m. I got this. This is Isle of Paradise Self Tanning Oil Mist. I think they sent me this one but I don't know if I ever actually have used it and now I can't find it. I love their stuff. I've been using the foam one but my app my like pump thing is broken so it was kind of just hard to use so i got a new mitt and this one on the banner thing display said most hydrating longest lasting tan so i picked this one they have a few different formulas i'm gonna try this one out i randomly bought this let's actually test this out right now this is fenty skin fat water hydrating milky toner essence Oh, I thought this was a spray. Probably gonna return that because I thought it was a spray that I could like spray throughout the day. I got this Fenty body scrub. Gotta have a body scrub if you're self tanning. I usually self tan every other day and I do my body scrub also like every other day. What I went in there for was I wanted to get a primer and I wanted to find a lip product. I've always used the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and I really like it, but I've been wanting to try something different lately. I feel like it's a little bit too dark. So I wanted to find something a little bit lighter and I also don't love like lipstick all the time. So I wanted to find something like this. This is what I ended up getting. This I got a new one of. This is the Tarte Lip Rescue. Tarte Quench Lip Rescue in the shade Nude. This is one of my favorite lip products. Basically like a tinted chapstick. It's hydrating. Oh, I'm not gonna put that on yet because I'm gonna try the other one. This is the best though. I've gone through a million of these and I love them. So usually I'll do a lip liner, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, and then I'll just put this on top. And sometimes I'll use the lipstick if I'm like going all out. But I wanted to find something that was different but still not drying. So this is the Tarte Maracuja juicy or maracuja i don't know lip plump in the shade prim rose i didn't want to get the lip plump one but they didn't have the shade that i wanted in like the regular one so i figured i can use a little plumping i did just get my lips done mm, that was probably like six weeks ago maybe and i feel like they look really good they're like perfect size for me so now i probably won't get them done for another like at least a year but this complex actually beauty lab and laser is supposed to be opening which if you guys watch real housewives of salt lake that's heather gay's like business and they're opening a second location here so i am waiting for that that's where i got my lips done the first time and my botox when i did it for the first time yeah they have like facials and stuff too so i'm waiting for that to open anyways let's test this oh i like that a lot Mm, okay, I love it. I always love Tarte. They never let me down. Okay, the next thing I got that I went in there for was a primer. Even though I don't even wear face makeup all that often. Well, I do, but I don't wear like full foundation all the time. I got the Ilia Skin Tint and I like it, but I feel like I need a primer. So I got, I googled best primer and this was the first one to come up. So that's what I got. I already knew this about myself, but I really learned this in the store today. If it's ugly, I will not buy it. Anything that was ugly or chunky, I just walked right past it. Like minimal, simple, clean nice to look at very important to me so luckily this was all of those things this is the true skin radiant priming serum and then i wanted some new skincare stuff i've been trying drunk elephant which i like i got the serum with the blue lid and the moisturizer with the purple lid their stuff is like a little bit confusing to me because there's like a lot of words on everything and i don't know exactly what everything's for and whatever and i thought that it was breaking me out for a second but i was trying to like get through it and keep using it because i was trying to just like use it up because i bought it and it's expensive but my skin actually Actually has kind of cleared up so i don't know why i was breaking out i decided to keep using it but i did get some new stuff this is i also googled best cleanser and that's what i know what this is that's what this is i've been using the biore like blemish fighting ice cleanser or something which i really liked i wanted to get something a little bit more fancy so this is youth to the people kale and green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser i googled best cleanser in sephora and i was literally standing right in front of this and then it was the first thing to come up so i also took that as a sign so i'm very excited to try this because i just love trying new stuff so i'm excited for that and then i also got the mandelic acid and superfood unity exfoliant this is like the aha a or bha stuff exfoliating facial toner i tried one of these it was the i don't know it was one my mom recommended to me and i swear it made me break out but she swears it was the most amazing thing she's ever discovered she's like says it changed her whole skin type and everything i'm gonna try a different brand see if i like it so i got that also got super Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask by the same brand. So this is an overnight mask and I'm pretty sure I just finished up my Summer Fridays mask, which I really 
really like but I'd had that for a long time so I wanted to try a new one and then with my points I don't even know what this is Biosance cream got that little sample and then i needed a new beauty blender and i also got the kosas brow gel in clear i've picked this up like 10 times wanting to buy it just kidding probably did i just break a nail <gasps> i did i'm gonna have to go get that fixed anyways i picked this up like three times intending to buy it and i just like put it back and i'm like no i don't need it so today i was like i'm gonna get it my eyebrows are already done i've actually just been using the benefit why can i not think of the name just the benefit brow gel and i really like it but i wanted to try new ones so that is everything that i got from sephora anyways now i'm gonna go home i ordered groceries yesterday i was watching tiktok and cove was watching with me and we watched this video of someone making a pasta and she was like that looks so good we should make that mommy so i got the stuff to make the pasta i'm actually not hungry it's 3 42 and in this complex there's like a little food hall thing i didn't know what it was before we went inside but i saw that it said ramen on a sign outside so i called parker and was like oh you should come and meet me and we should go on a little date because we haven't we just don't ever random like randomly do stuff like that because we i was gonna say we don't have a babysitter but we have a nanny but i think we just like don't think to go eat at like 3 p.m on a monday or whatever so i called him and i was like oh you should come and meet me here and we can get some ramen so we just did that and it was kind of a random time and it also was not that good mine was like cold basically but his was good so anyways i'm not that hungry right now but for dinner i want to make this pasta with cove so i will film that and yeah okay vivo are you ready for your surprise yeah i picked this surprise out for you because did you know halloween is coming up yeah do you know what you want to be for halloween just right up the the chase mighty yeah you'll see trick or treat so i got you and lola a halloween surprise look what i got you What's on it? Scooby-Doo on the truck. Scooby-Doo on the truck. I got you Scooby-Doo pants. Mm. Do you like it? Um. <laughs> you don't know because it's not Paw Patrol. And look, this one is for Lola. Uh. Is that cute? Yeah. Do you want to try them on? No, that's what I'm wearing next. Oh, because you're wearing that? All right, on to my second mom flop of the day. She didn't care about her PJs and I was so excited to make this pasta with her because we watched the video. Oh, someone's crying. Anyways, thought Cove would want to make this with me, but she is playing. This recipe is from Cafe Haley on Instagram. Okay, here we go. Coco, do you want to come help me cook? All right, we're just gonna get started. That, I thought at first it was gonna be easy and it wasn't that bad. I think if I had the pasta like already done, it would have been a lot faster because I had to boil like 50 different things and it said use the same pot, which is nice for cleanup, but it just took a long time, but it looks really good. And I did taste the sauce, but let's see. Mm. Okay, that's very good. It's very rare that I make something that's actually good. I also cut up some lemon. It has lemon zest on it, but I feel like it, I like lemon. So I'm gonna add that. And that's gonna be it for today's vlog. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out Ritual. I'll have them linked down below. But that's it for now. So see you guys in the next vlog.